Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Saturday, September 11th, 2021. Fire potential impacts for the next couple of days include another round of showers and thunderstorms across mainly Utah today, with some lingering isolated storms over northern Utah and far southern uh, Idaho on Sunday and clearing by Monday. We also have some wind across the southern tip of the Great Basin for the next few days and some smoke across the north, although the smoke has decreased significantly from what we have seen. So the smoke, smoke forecast for this afternoon uh, really just puts some smoke in over the Snake River Plain and up into western Wyoming and a little bit over northern Nevada and much of the same for tomorrow. We had a pretty active day yesterday for some showers and thunderstorms over uh, much of the area including southern Idaho, northern Nevada, portions of Utah. Uh, many of these storms were accompanied by some precip but there were some um, dry storms here and there and some of these lightning strikes resulted in fires specifically over northern Utah, the higher elevations here, we had quite a few initial attack fires and one larger fire out in some uh, wetland area that um, um, got a little bit larger there. The past, seven, four, uh, the past 14 days of precip is shown here with the observed amounts on the left and the percent of normal on the right. This doesn't include the precipitation from yesterday, but before yesterday, um, the past couple of weeks had been pretty dry, especially Nevada, Idaho and northern Utah with some wet, uh, some wetter storms in the recent past over southern and eastern Utah, um, but pretty dry elsewhere unt until yesterday. The um, fire danger values ERCs here have been uh, coming down with some of the precip that started on, let's see, Friday in western Nevada and continued yesterday. So those values have come down over, over western Nevada, over Idaho. Um, the values are still pretty high, but a little bit uh, the decreasing somewhat from the highs that we have seen recently. And over Utah, those values are decreasing as well. It's a bit of a mixed bag right now. Um, but if we take a closer look here over the Southern Sierra front, those values were at historical records. Um, but with the precip and, and slightly cooler temperatures, they've come back to around normal for the time of year. And then the Northern Utah mountains, uh, where we picked up some initial attack yesterday, the values are right around average for the time of year. This morning satellite imagery uh, doesn't have the loop on here, but it does show that low um, that kind of moved across the northern Rockies and, and drew up some of that moisture. Uh, moving off to the east, um, there, there still is some moisture in place over Utah and southeast Idaho. That's where we'll see the, the uh, thunderstorms develop once again today. Uh, drier over Idaho and uh, Nevada. So again, for this afternoon, drier across the north and west with moisture lingering over Utah for another round of thunderstorms. No high risk issued for today. Um, again, a closer look at where the precip is expected, uh, pretty much statewide over Utah. We may see some storms over far eastern Nevada and far southwest or southeast Idaho. Uh, some gusty winds over southern Nevada as well. On Sunday, the moisture really begins to clear out. Uh, we have zonal flow or westerly flow in place over the area, bringing some near, near average temperatures for the time of year with highs in the low 80s as we go into next week. Uh, no high risk triggers issued for Sunday. And just some possible precipitation right along this little front in southeast Idaho and northern Utah uh, Sunday into Sunday night. And then winds again uh, breezy over southern Nevada. By Monday, uh, that little um, little front with the moisture there in eastern Idaho will move off to the east, and we'll see a return of dry conditions with uh, near normal temperatures. Should be nice fall weather uh, heading into this work week. We do see some drying, especially over Nevada, with some dryness levels returning to the brown category. High temperatures by Monday, again, are going to be in the mid-80s across the central valleys, a little bit cooler to the north and a little bit warmer to the south. Uh, some breezy winds continuing over far southern Great Basin on Monday. Three-day precip totals shown here, uh, really highlighting the precip we're expected t expecting today in Utah and southeast Idaho. More of the same on Tuesday, just a continuation of of um, seasonal temperatures are slightly above normal perhaps and dry conditions on Tuesday continue drying across the region. Uh, more of the same into Wednesday, continued dryness. There is a little uh, trough that swings across southern Canada here that will increase wind speeds 
over eastern uh, Idaho on Wednesday. We have some high risk issued for those winds in the dry weather pattern. And then on Thursday, um, winds pick up a little bit across the south. So on Thursday, we'll begin to see uh, a trough moving into the Pacific Northwest. That will actually bring quite a bit of precip up there heading into the weekend, uh, but dry for us through the bulk of the work week. On Friday, some of that moisture will begin to move into the Pacific Northwest, Northern Rockies, um, and even into portions of Idaho. Uh, just beginning Friday, but really will move in uh, for the weekend. So the seven day totals taking us through the work week uh, precip over Utah today, and then we'll start to see some of that moisture moving in late in the period. So like Friday and mostly into Saturday, Sunday uh, is when we're expecting the precip to come to the north. The extended forecast, the 18th through the 24th, um, is showing that big trough moving into the Pacific Northwest, bringing cooler temperatures up there, uh, really cooler temperatures to most of the Great Basin, and a higher chance of precip coming to the Northwest as well. So our first um, kind of more significant, bigger cold front uh, coming to the Pacific Northwest and bringing some precip. That's a good sign. And this concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.